Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you a step-by-step -step demonstration on how to create your own narwhal. This is a super fun pattern and it would be a great gift for a baby shower or a child. This is a two-part series. The first part's going to be the head, the body, the fins, the tail, details, and the eyes. Part two will be shaping the face, the belly plate, the side fins, and the horn. So let's gather our supplies and get started. So for this tutorial, I'm going to be using Baby Snuggle yarn. It's an acrylic, like almost like a chenille yarn, and it is a size 6 yarn. To pair with it, I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook from Crochet Society. We're also going to need safety eyes. I have just 16 millimeter safety eyes, um, but you could use bigger or smaller depending on the yarn you've chosen. We're also going to need a darning needle, a stitch marker, some fabric pins, scissors, some fiber fill, and uh, about 12 to 16 inches of black medium weight yarn or any color medium weight yarn. Now you can make this pattern with smaller weight yarn. It will work just the same. Just adjust your hook size and your eye size depending on the yarn that you do decide to use. So once we've gathered all of our supplies we can get into it. The stitches that you will need to complete this tutorial is a magic ring, a single crochet, a slip stitch, an increase, and a decrease stitch. Now we're going to start with the head and the body. Um, it's all going to be one piece, so we're going to just continuously work through the head to the body to the tail all in one piece. So to begin, we're going to take our color A yarn, so whatever you want the body of your narwhal to be. Now to begin for row one, we're going to create a magic ring. Now if you're unsure how to make a magic ring, I will link a video in the description box below that you can watch that will give you step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make a magic ring. I will just do it quickly here. So we're just going to create our magic ring. And for row one, we're going to place eight single crochets in the round. So insert, yarn over, pull through. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we will just close our round and we'll place our stitch marker. Now I personally like to use a strand of yarn for my stitch marker of smaller weight and I just place it right in front of the last stitch I've done, but you can place a regular stitch marker as well, whatever works for you. So moving on to row two of the head, we're going to place an increase stitch in every single stitch around. An increase stitch is two stitches in one stitch. So we're going to insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to go right back into that exact same stitch and create another single crochet. We're going to do that all the way around for all eight stitches that we made. So at the end of this row, we should have 16 stitches. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And that is the end of row two. Now moving on to row three, we're going to do a single crochet and an increase stitch. So single crochet in the first stitch, 
and then we're going to place an increase stitch. So two single crochets in one stitch, single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase. You're going to do this eight times around. So at the end of this row, you should have 24 stitches. Increase. Single crochet. Increase. Single crochet. Increase. And one more single crochet and an increase stitch. And that is the end of row three. Now for row four, we're going to do two single crochets, one, two, and an increase stitch in the third stitch. So two single crochets in one, Single crochet, single crochet, and an increase stitch. Single crochet two, increase. And we're gonna complete this eight times around as well. And at the end of this row, you should have 32 stitches. One, two, increase, one, two, increase, one, two, increase, and one last time, one, to increase. And that is row four. I move my stitch marker. Now for row five, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. There are 32 stitches, so we're going to place 32 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So one single crochet all the way around and when you're at the end of row five, I'll meet you back here. And that is row five. Now for row six, we're going to do three single crochets and an increase stitch. One, two, three, increase. One, two, three, two stitches in one for an increase. One, two, three, increase. You're gonna do this eight times around and your stitch count at the end of this row should be 40. Two, three, increase. So finish row six and I will meet you at the other end. All right, now on to row seven. We're going to do four single crochets and an increase stitch. So one, two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, four, increase. One, two, three, four, increase. And you're going to complete this eight times around as well. And your stitch count at the end of row seven should be 48. 
So I will meet you at the other end of row seven. All right, and that is row one through seven complete. Now we're going to move on to row eight. And for eight, row eight, all the way through row 13, so that's six rows, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. And we have 48 stitches in the round right now. So for rows eight to 13, we're gonna single crochet 48. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So just like that, all the way around, I'm going to crochet rows 8 to 13 off camera, and I will meet you back here after row 13 is complete. And this is rows 8 to 13 now completed. And now we're going to move on to row 14. Now for row 14, we're going to start off with 14 single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Then we're going to do a combination of a single crochet three and a decrease. And we're going to do that four times. So single crochet three, one, two, three, and a decrease. Invisible decrease is what I prefer. So taking the front loop and the front loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Now that's one, so we have three more of those to do. So one, two, three, decrease. Grab the front loop of the next two stitches, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. That's two of those. One, two, three, decrease. We'll do that one more time. One, two, three, decrease. Now we're going to crochet single crochets for 14. So 14 single crochets. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So at the end of row 14, you should have 44 stitches. Now for row 15, we're gonna start off with a combination of single crochet four and a decrease stitch, and we're gonna do that twice. So one, two, three, four, and a decrease stitch. We'll do that one more time. One, two, three, four, and a decrease. Next, we're going to do a combination of single crochet two and a decrease, and we're going to repeat that five times. So one, two, and a decrease. That's one. One, two, three, 
to and decrease. That's two, one, two, decrease. That's three, one, two, decrease is four, and one more, one, two, and a decrease is five. Lastly, we're going to do, again, four single crochets and a decrease stitch, and we're gonna repeat that twice. One, two, three, four, decrease. That's one. One, two, three, four, and a decrease. That's two. And we're at our stitch marker. Now at the end of this row, row 35 or row 15, sorry, you should have 35 stitches around. And this is what our whale is looking like, our narwhal is looking like right now. Now moving on to rows 16 and 17, so two rows, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. We have 35 stitches, so we're single crocheting 35 around. So I will complete these single crochets off camera, and I will meet you at the end of row 17. And that is rows 16 and 17 completed. Now for row 18, we're going to do a combination of single crochet three and a decrease stitch, and we're gonna repeat that twice. So one, two, three, decrease. And one more time, one, two, three, and a decrease. Next, we're gonna do single crochet two, decrease. We're gonna repeat that four times. So single crochet two and a decrease. That's one. One, two, decrease. That's two. One, two, decrease, that's three, one, two, decrease, that's four, and then we're going to do single crochet three with a decrease, one, two, three, and a decrease, And then we're going to just place four single crochets. Two, three, four, and that the that is the end of row 18. At the end of this row, we should have 28 stitches. Now moving on to rows 19 and 20, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. We have 28 stitches in the round right now, so we're going to place 28 single crochets for both rows 19 and 20. I will complete this off camera and I will meet you back here at the end of row 20. So that is rows 1 through 20 completed of the head. Now before we move forward we're going to start stuffing the head. Now you don't want to overstuff your head but you also don't want to understuff it. You want to have enough filling that you're going to keep the shape but that not too much that it's it's like not too hard you want it to be soft and plushy 
So usually what I do is I just put some in and then I just like to bring it out to the sides to make sure that every part of the stuffy is being stuffed and then I can add a little bit more to the middle if I need to. And really this is a personal preference, what you prefer your stuffies to feel like. Now once you're happy with how your stuffy feels, we will continue to stuff every few rows. Um, so this is just the initial stuffing. So once we have completed stuffing the first part, we are gonna move on to rows 21. So for row 21, we're gonna start off with a combination of single crochet two and decrease. And we're gonna complete that two times. So one, two, decrease. And one, two, decrease. Now we're going to do a single crochet and a decrease combination, and we're going to do that five times. So single crochet, decrease, single crochet, decrease, that's two, single crochet, decrease, that's three, single crochet, decrease, that's four, single crochet, decrease, that's five, Then we're gonna go do a single crochet two decrease combination and we're just gonna do that one time. And then we're just gonna place one single crochet in that last stitch before our stitch marker. And that is row 21 completed. And at the end of row 21, we should have 20 stitches. Now moving on to rows 22 and 23, we're gonna place one single crochet in each stitch around. We have 20 stitches in the round, so we're gonna do 20 single crochets for the two rows. I will complete these off camera and I will meet you back here at the end of row 23. And that is the end of row 23. Now we're going to stuff again. So just filling in those rows we just added. Just like to kind of play around with mine just to get the shape that I want. And this is kind of what we're looking like. So this is the bottom of the narwhal and this is the top. You can see that there's a decline here. And now before we move forward, we're gonna place our eyes. So when we're placing our eyes, it's really gonna be different for everybody based on the tension that you crochet with. So basically what you wanna make sure is that where you're starting to go down, that's the top of the head. And the flat part, that's the bottom. So you want your eyes to be on the side of the head, around here, with the top of the head centered. And that's gonna make sure that when we create the tail and the fins, that that's all gonna be in line together. So just find that point for you. Um, and when you have found that point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna place the eyes between rows 10 and 11 on either side of the head. So we'll count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, and 11. So I'll just place one eye there for now, and I'm not gonna secure it so I can move it around. 
And then the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 10 and 11 are right here. Now I just want to make sure that I'm in the right spot. And I also like to just look above to make sure that my eyes are in line and from the front. So I need to move this eye up a tad. Maybe even one more stitch. Like that. Make sure that they're in line on the top and eventually they're gonna be pushed in like this. But we will get to that step later. And once you're happy with the placement of your eyes, you can secure them with the back tab. Now this can be more difficult since we've stuffed already, but I personally like to stuff before I place my eyes so I know that I've gotten them in the right place based on the shape that I want um, but I mean you could place your eyes earlier if you prefer to do that or you can do it before you put the stuffing in and there are our eyes attached we're now going to start row 24 so for row 24 we're going to start with a decrease stitch and we're going to do that twice. So one, two, and then we're going to place 12 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we're going to place two more decrease stitches. So there's one and two. Row 25, 26, and 27 is going to be one single crochet all the way around. We should have 16 stitches from our previous row. So it's single crochet 16 for rows 25, 26, and 27. Two, three, four, five. Six. So just continue along doing your single crochets and I will meet you at the end of row 27. So that is up to row 27 complete and then now I'm just going to stuff again and we're just going to continue to stuff every few rows um, especially now that we're getting a little bit smaller we want to make sure that we're getting enough stuffing before it gets too small to stuff. All right, now moving on to row 28, we're going to complete three decrease stitches. So one, two, three. We're going to crochet eight single crochets, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then in the last two stitches we're going to place one more decrease stitch and that's the end of row 28 and you should have 12 stitches in the round at the end of row 28. 
For row 29 and 30, we're going to place one single crochet in each stitch around. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's row twenty nine. And row 30 is the same thing, 12 single crochets, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 11, 12. And again, we're going to put some more stuffing in. This is the last time you're gonna be able to stuff the body before we move on to the fins. So just make sure the body is exactly how you want, the body and the tail here, um, before we move on, because once we create the fins, you're not gonna be able to stuff this area anymore. All right, so moving forward onto the fins, what we want to make sure on your project, and everybody's project's going to be different again, like I said, based on your tension, is you want the fin to line up center so that your eyes are centered between your head and your head is centered on your fin. So this is going to look different for everybody. Um, how many crochets we're going to do here to make it centered. So for me, this second single crochet from my stitch marker is going to be center with my head. So for my pattern, I'm just going to make one single crochet for row 31. Now you may need to make two single crochets to get to the center of yours, or you may need to make three single crochets to get to the center of yours. It doesn't matter how many single crochets you make, as long as it's centered between the head and your eyes so that your fin's gonna be centered. So once we've got to the center of wherever our center is, now we want to connect the two in the center of our fins so that we have six single crochets on one side and six single crochets on the other side and these circles are going to create our fins. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert our hook into the next stitch and we're going to go across six stitches like so. We're going to wrap our yarn, pull through both, wrap our yarn and finish off with a single crochet. Now what you'll notice is you have two circles and they each have six single crochets. Now we're gonna work one fin at a time. If you feel like you need to put any more stuffing into these little um, areas here, you definitely can add a little bit more stuffing before we move on here. But, um, so we're gonna work one fin at a time. So I'm going to do the right fin first and so for row 32 of the right fin we're going to do six single crochets. Now you can move your stitch marker so that you make sure that you have the correct amount. So we're going to do six single crochets. One. two, three, four, five, six. 
just like that. Now we aren't going to stuff the fins, so just don't add any stuffing to this. For row 33 of the first fin, we're going to place a single crochet and an increase stitch, and we're going to do that three times. So single crochet, increase. Single crochet, increase. Single crochet, increase. So you should have a total of nine stitches at the end of this row 33. So this is kind of what we're looking like right now. Now for row 34, we're going to do two single crochets. One, two, and an increase stitch. We're going to repeat this three times, and your stitch count should be 12 at the end of this row. One, two, increase. One, two, increase. Now for rows 35, 36, 37, and 38, we're going to crochet 12 single crochets around. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I will finish rows 35 through 38 off camera and I will meet you back here for row 39. So that is up to row 38 complete. Now for rows row 39, we're going to do the combination single crochet two and a decrease stitch. And we're going to do that three times. And our stitch count at the end of this row will be nine. One, two, decrease. One, two, decrease. Now for the final row, row 40, we're going to do the combination single crochet, decrease. We're going to do that three times, and you'll have six stitches at the end of row 40. Single crochet, decrease. And that is the last row of the first fin and the body. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to remove my stitch marker. I'm just going to make a slip knot into this next stitch here. Grab my scissors and cut my yarn. And then I'm just going to pull this through. Now to finish off this opening here, I'm just going to take a smaller crochet hook. It literally can be any size you'd like. And I'm just going to go up into the first, the front loop of each stitch, and I'm going to pull through that tail all the way around. 
And this is going to close off that last row. And once you've gone through all the stitches, just pull that tight. And then I usually like to just put my hook through, grab that yarn, and then I have a loop, and I just grab the yarn end and pull to make a little knot. And then we can weave in these ends. So to weave in the end, I'm just gonna stick my Hook in here, grab that end, and just start to pull that through. And that is one fin complete. Now to start the second fin, we are going to start a new strand of yarn. Um, we're just going to make a slip knot. And we are going to just insert the slip knot into whichever stitch you decide you want to go into. And you're going to go back and now you're going to start row 32 on the second fin. So I'm just going to insert my hook here. Single crochet. And we're going to do our single crochet six all the way around. Now you can place your stitch marker here again if you like or whatever you're using. I'm just going to use my strand of yarn. And you can just stick this yarn tail right into that hole to get it out of your way because we're not going to need it. So for row 33, we're going to do single crochet increase single crochet increase single crochet increase For row 34, we're going to do single crochet two, increase, single crochet two, increase. single crochet two, increase. Now for rows 35 through 38, we're gonna place one single crochet in each stitch around for 12 stitches. The same as we did on the other side. So we'll meet you back here for row 39. And that is row 38 of the second fin completed. Now row 39 again, we're gonna do two single crochets and a decrease stitch times three, one, 
to decrease and one more time one two decrease and then for row 40 we're going to do a single crochet and a decrease times three for a final total count of six single crochet decrease single crochet decrease. We'll remove our stitch marker, we'll make a slip stitch to the next stitch and we'll cut our yarn. Pull through, Take our smaller hook here and do the same thing that we did on the other side to finish off row 40 of the second fin. Make a knot. And then we can just weave in our ends here. So this is what we're looking like after we've weaved in all of our ends. For the next step here, we're just going to finish the detail on the fins. So I'm just going to cut a 12 to 16 inch strand of the color A yarn. So whatever you're using for your body of your uh, narwhal. And we're going to grab our darning needle. We'll just thread that through. So what we're going to do is right now the fin is round and we want it to be flat. And we want it to be flat so that when he's when your narwhal is sitting with your head here that the fins are flat down like this so once you get the correct orientation for where you want your fins what we're going to do is we're going to take our darning needle with our color a yarn and we're going to go into row 37 so row 40 39 38 37 and we're going to go up through the bottom and we're going to pull our yarn. We're then going to go up one row here and we're going to insert our hook and push it back down through the other side. Just like that. You shouldn't be able to see really anything. It's just going to keep your fin flat. Once you have that complete, we're going to cut that yarn and we're going to tie a knot. Now we're going to repeat the exact same thing on the other fin. So row 40, 39, 38, 37, go up like so, pull that through, and then move up one row, and put it back down. We will cut the yarn. And we'll tie another knot. Okay. 
once you've done that, we will just weave in these ends. This end doesn't want to be weaved in, I guess. And there you have your tail. Fins are flat. Next, we're going to grab another about 12 inch strand of yarn. And again, we're going to attach it to our darning needle. Next, we want to sew together just these first two rows of the fins so that they just stay together a little bit better. So we're going to sew together rows 32 and 33 of the fin. So we're just going to take our darning needle and I'm just going to put that through. And then I'm going to go to the other side. And then I'm going to go up a row. And then over to the other fin. I'm just going to sew those together. Now, if you prefer to sew up a little bit higher than that, you are welcome to do that as well. And once you are happy with that, We will cut our yarn again and tie these two together. And just weave in those ends. There you have the body, the tail, and your fins of your narwhal completed. That is part one complete. Head over to part two to complete your Nelly the Narwhal.